Welcome to All Saints Episcopal Church in Concord, North Carolina. Today we'll be doing Noon Prayer, which starts on page 103 in the Book of Common Prayer. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Today's psalm appointed for today is 133, found on page 787 in the Book of Common Prayer. We will read together in unison. Oh, how good and pleasant it is when brethren live together in unity. It is like fine oil upon the head that runs down upon the beard, upon the beard of Aaron and runs down upon the collar of his robe. It is like the dew of Hermon that falls upon the hills of Zion. For there the Lord has ordained the blessing life forevermore. Amen. A reading according to John, chapter 13, verses 31 through 35. When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So I have two short little stories for our homily this morning. Our first is from the saint of today that we are celebrating, who is Nathan Sonderblom, who was the Archbishop of Uppsala in Sweden. And in 1930, won the first clergyman to win the Nobel Peace Prize. And his story is one that I think is very prominent in our gospel this morning, but also speaks to the ideas of love and dwelling together in unity that our psalm says. In 1890, Nathan attended a Christian student conference in New England. And after hearing a lecture, Nathan wrote in his diary a sentence that would prove to be prophetic of his ministry. He said, Lord, give me humility and wisdom to serve the great cause. Now, when he wrote this, he was still a student and did not quite understand the gravity of what he wrote, but he is known for his work on interdenominational accords. As a Lutheran in Sweden, he worked with the Church of England and other denominations to form what would then become the World Council of Churches. And for his work in promoting unity, because he saw the only way towards peace among the nations was to have peace among the church. He became the first clergyman to ever receive the Nobel Peace Prize. And winning the award, his motivation was as stated. For promoting Christian unity and helping create that new attitude of mind, which is necessary if peace between the nations is to become a reality. Nathan took to heart what Jesus said that just as I have loved you, you should also love one another and brought that into the work that he did until he died in 1931. I think it's a, a story to remind us of how anyone can bring love to one another. And it looks like so many different ways, whether that's bringing peace, whether that's uniting churches, whether that's befriending a neighbor, that kind of love is possible and bringing us back into the 21st century. My second story for the day is about a little bit of a local over in Davidson, North Carolina. I'm currently sitting in the offices of Access to Success, the nonprofit that I'm working with this summer. 
and its founder, Andrew Lovedale, um, was a member of the 2008 Elite Eight basketball team in Davidson, North Carolina, but is originally from Benin City, Nigeria, where the, the children in these pictures behind me are from. Um, he was scouted to play basketball and became very good at it, but he never forgot where he came from. And he's founded the Access to Success or A2S to provide sustainable programs that generate positive change for Nigerian children and their communities. There's about four realms of programs that I, I work with in this organization of education, entrepreneurship, empowerment, and athletics. And what I really wanna focus on is both the incredible programs that A2S is doing to bring education, entrepreneurship, empowerment, and athletics into Benin City, Nigeria. But Andrew has a really powerful phrase that relates to both what Nathan was saying and what Jesus was saying in the gospel. When he founded the organization, Andrew said that he wanted to give nothing less than what he was given. And those two things that he wanted to give nothing less of are love and consistency. When he talks about his work here at A2S, he talks about loving on people and be giving them consistent love. I think that's a modern interpretation of what Jesus was saying when he says, just as I have loved you, you have loved one another. And so this week, inspired by the work of A2S, I want us to meditate on the idea of what it means to bring love and consistency like Jesus. Amen. Returning to noonday prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And now together, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty God, we bless your name for the life and work of Nathan Sonderbloom, Archbishop of Uppsala who have helped to inspire the modern liturgical revival and worked tirelessly for cooperation among Christians. Inspire us by his example that we may ever strive for the renewal of your Christian, your church in life and worship. For the glory of your name, who with Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you. My peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins with the faith of your church and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen. At this time, intercessions may be offered for the work of HUS, Andrew, and the staff both here in the United States and in Nigeria. For the people of all saints and those named on our prayer list, are there others? Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 